Over the past week, Waverly has lost two young lives to suicide. The community, of course, grieving their loss while still trying to pick up the pieces from the deadly flood there last fall, and they've turned to prayer for comfort now. News Channel 5's Amelia Young is joining us live from our newsroom this morning. She's covering this for us, and Amelia, they're now calling on others to take action before it's too late. Yeah, that's right, Ben and Amy, and it's just continued heartbreak for this community. They're now having to work through this pain to make sure that no one feels alone in a time that feels so dark. We come to you tonight with heavy hearts, hearts that are sad, hearts that are broken. Gathering together in prayer, the Waverly community bowed their heads in search of healing after two young lives were lost to suicide. My firstborn that I held and, and loved for 17 years, it was disbelief. This cannot be happening. Connor James McFarlane, only 17 years old when he took his own life one week ago. No one needs to see what I saw, what my wife saw. No one needs to see their mother, my mother crying and my grandmother's barely able to go to a casket to see their great grandson. No one needs to bury their child. No one. Connor's father, Jeremy, hoping Tuesday night's prayer at the cash saver will show everyone they're not alone. We as a community have come together because of COVID, came closer together because of the flood, and now we're bonding even closer because of this, these tragic deaths. Faith leaders telling parents that in order to move forward, they need to change their mindset. We want you kids to know right off the bat, uh, we haven't been listening, but we're going to start. Connor's father sharing his struggle, hoping people can learn from his family's loss. Don't take anything for granted. I was looking forward to this summer with my son. I took him for granted. Don't do that. Go now. Now we here at News Channel 5 want you to know that there are resources available and there is a pe there are people there wanting to help you get through this. There's people standing by right now at the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline to talk you through whatever you're going through. That number is 1-800-273-8255. That's 1-800-273-8255. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Amelia. We also have resources on newschannel5.com to help you connect with a mental health professional, whether you are insured or not. You can also take a mental health screening. Just head to newschannel5.com slash not alone.